Jürgen, yeah. the fact that it's Premier League opposition you're facing, does it make any difference to your approach in terms of a pre-season game? Not really, but it's, um, it's a high quality yeah, you can get uh, in, in this part of the, um, of the pre-season, but um, oh, we don't think too much about then. Um, what f especially with Crystal Palace, we play second match there. I think uh, you would not choose this if you have influence on it, of course, but now it happened with the tournament, so it's not a big thing. Um, between this game and the next game, I think it's three and a half weeks or something like this. So that's long enough. It's no problem, and um, no, that doesn't change anything. Only we need to be focused. We need to, we need to try to, to, to be as good as possible in this moment. Use, as Sam said, using this, the circumstances, making the best of it. Because of course the weather is not, is not perfect for for a, um, yeah, for pre-season training um, yes we are all we come from England so we are used to to a little bit of rain but yesterday was obviously a little bit too much that we couldn't go out we had to, to do what we could do and so at the end um, hopefully today we can train what would make sense for for not only but also for rhythm and things like this because then tomorrow night uh, we have this probably for both teams um, pretty intense game How's Daniel Sturridge's pre-season going? Good. Daniel could be part of the full pre-season so far, so that's very important, of course, not just for him, but also for him, and um, uh, looking good. Yeah, it's, it was quite intense, especially in England so far. It was intense what we did. We, all, all the games we played, we played out of full training, though, and he was part of uh, pretty much each ses session, so uh, it's good. That says a, a lot about, I suppose, the kind of physical state that he's in going into a new season, that he, the fact that he can do that, given the injuries that he's had. It's the best, it's the best, um, best condition since I'm in. It was always, okay, I came in October 15, and um, Daniel, I think, was, I'm not sure, but was probably injured. Um, and then last preseason, it was uh, after a tournament, and um, all that stuff, short break, and this year he has a head prop break, and now, yeah, he's in, in a good physical shape, absolutely. More Vinny, one more, and then I'm okay. the room, right? uh, obviously, with regard to bringing players in and supplementing your squad further, you've been quoted about the, uh, likening it to buying a new car as regards the interest in Kaito. Can you clarify the situation there as regards trying to bring him in from Leipzig? Just Vinny, the buying the new car was in relation to all transfers, not specific to Kaito, <laughs> just so we don't get, get in any trouble. But by the way, <laughs> is there any problem with the, with the, with the car? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, nothing new to say about this, oh, oh, you could imagine probably before you asked the question, but um, uh, I cannot clarify anything, so it's, um, yeah, it's like it is, it's a transfer market, so everything's open until the 31st. You've not bought that car yet. <laughs> okay. We're going to go around the room again, if you could indicate the gentleman next to you, Vinny, we'll make it easy for the Hi, you're again, it's Adam from RTHK. Um, there hasn't been a, an, an Asian player that's been real significant to, to Liverpool. What's your impression of Asian football, and are there any Asian players out there that uh, perhaps you fancy? Yeah, I had an Asian player, so I worked together with Shinji Kagawa. So, um, but uh, yeah, no idea why it was in the past not uh, a lot of Asian players at Liverpool. But it's um, how we all know that um, the potential couldn't be bigger. Uh, in Asia, was in, in, in terms of football, of course. So it's starting a big league in China. Um, um, Japan is already a long, um, very successful league since many years. So, yes, of course, there are players out there, but it's not about we don't buy players because of their, the country they are coming from. No, they must, they must fit in our, in our team. And if there's any player from Asia, and, uh, then we are, if you want, the first who go for him. But um, in this moment, it didn't. It didn't work out so far. But nothing. I have no own just the best experiences with Asian player because I, as I said, I had Shinji and I enjoyed working together with him. Mike, uh, Jurgen, do you have any concerns over the state of the pitch tomorrow night, given the weather and the safety of your players? Yes. In this moment, yes. What can I say? It's. Um, I could say no, then it would lie. <laughs> um, so, um, not really concerns. 
because it's football and um, I think uh, the, the weather forecast I think is quite positive um, should be better tomorrow the pitch we built there the yesterday uh, obviously the drainage works really well so when it stops raining then I think um, a few hours later we, it, it will be a, it will be okay so yeah how always in life we need a little bit of luck then everything will be fine um, for the game it's not a big problem because both teams will have the the same circumstances so we will see how it looks then um, we are out there in Hong Kong in the moment checking different surfaces for us to train where we can go and all that stuff so that's it's like this situation is like football is you always need to find solutions so um, you have problems yes but that's but nobody cares about your problems you need to find solutions and that's what we're doing for, for, from the from the training perspective in a moment and we, we trained yesterday we will train today wherever um, and then tomorrow, I hope, I really hope that we, that it will be good and weather will be fine and we can have a, a really good football game because if it's a big tournament, obviously it's important for the Premier League and um, so we want to show the best face, of course, but in football for this you need a few things and uh, good players and if possible a good pitch also. So if it could stop raining then that would be cool. And just on the transfer window, you said you were relaxed about the way it's gone so far. Have there been any frustrations yet? No. What, what do you mean with frustration? If I got all the players I want, so until now, <laughs> I, I, I'm not easy to frustrate. So it's a thing. It's a, that's a market. Where it's really you, you go for things. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes not. That's how it is. It's not nobody's fault. It's, only, it's like this. So and um, yeah. no, I'm, I'm, I'm still relaxed. We'll go around the room. If people like to indicate if they've got a question uh, for Mr. Klopp. Um, yes, James Pierce again from the uh, Liverpool Echo. Hi, Jürgen. Uh, Jürgen, obviously, there's been a big focus on potential incomings this summer, but also how important has it been to keep together you know, the, the current crop, and in particular, Philip Coutinho? There was a lot of speculation about potential interest from Barcelona, PSG. I, I, do you expect him to, you know, at 25 now, are you, are you getting a, almost like a world-class talent there who's reaching his peak? Yeah, but not just only, not only from, from Philippe, Philippe, for example. No, it's, um, that's, but it's a good thing to talk about because we're in, in, a, in a transfer window, we, we, if we think about, or you or the world out there, think about improving a squad, it's all, it's all about bringing in new players. Nobody thinks about that the players could make the next step and it would be a nice idea also. So, and um, that's what we, of, of course, yes, we use the transfer window, of course, because there we have the opportunity, but it's also the, the main thing, I think, about how can we uh, make the next step with, uh, with the players we had last year. So, and the, the good news is, is actually that we didn't, so didn't lose a player and will not lose a player we want to keep. Uh, in this season, uh, and that's that's very very good. Uh, the best news actually, so and then we can see who we can bring in this squad. But I expect a lot of progress from the players, a lot uh, yeah, based on the experience from last from the last years. Mm. Last year was was good as a group. The last years were good for the individual players because that were the years when they qualified for Liverpool or whatever. So um, yes, I'm looking forward to this. But we need, that's what we actually need to do. So we know where our where our problems were. If you want, we had this. We conceded these kind of goals, which we didn't like to concede. It was a little bit about concentration, a little bit about focus. Um, it, it's always discussed like it is quality. It wasn't ever quality. It's it's kind of uh, well, the two things I said. Um, losing a little bit, uh, um, yeah, doesn't help this nice idea to come through. And um, that's why I thought, yeah, let's look and see how good we will be. But it's, um, I'm, I always said, I'm really positive about the next season. But in the moment, we have to work and not to dream. If somebody wants to dream, no problem. I don't want to stop this. But it's, um, it's a long way to go. And especially when Leicester became champion, and if you ask them this question before the season, I'm not sure if Claudio Ranieri would have said, yes, I think we will be champion next year. But they were, and um, so that's nice. Thank you, Jürgen. Yeah, Guys, thank you very much for taking the time to come to our press conference today, and I'm sure we'll see lots of you at the game tomorrow. Thank you very much. Cheers.